Hello and thank you for joining me for another video. Uh, this time I'm back with another DIY soldering project. It's a amplifier module uh, based on the LM386 amplifier chip. So let's just get on with it and open up the package and see what we have. Here's a small PCB. You can see with the screen printing they've got all the components names uh, laid out. So really it should be straightforward to assemble this. Uh, we have an audio jack. Uh, we have a part. The top for the part. Uh, a 1000 UF capacitor. 25 volts. 100 UF. 50 volts chip socket holder and the LM386 itself uh, power jack another capacitor this is a 10 UF 25 volts these are the uh, for the part you just put them there set of header pins uh, some resistors and another resistor, some ceramic capacitor and LED. So let's quickly go ahead and put all the components in. Uh, let's figure out which way they go. So I'm gonna do that last. So let's start with the capacitors. So clearly that's the 1000 UF. Let's get the polarity right. It's a positive, negative. Okay. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm just going to turn my soldering iron on. That's the 100 UF again, the polarity, this should be plus minus. So the minus, the negative is basically colored in white. Again, like my last video, I'm going to use some tack to hold things in place. And then these two ceramic capacitors are the same value, and I can see we have C8. And C5, those two capacitors. Just trim all the wires again as close as possible to the PCB without damaging the the solder joint resistors so I have two of the same that's I believe on the 47 4.7 K so you can really tell uh, so there's two resistors of the same value there and then there is another resistor R10 it says 4.7 uh, yeah. so 4.7 and 4.7k seems like this one the holes are not wide enough so here's what I'm going to do with another style of doing it is kind of, I don't know whether you can see it or not I'll make the resistor stand up instead of lying down Let's do the socket and then I'll do the 
Hold your jack as well. Swing out. Hold this in place. Hold your jack in. That resistor is not sitting very well, so I'm just going to adjust it. We love it. We love it. The power jack. Again, yeah, that's straightforward. So things like this need a lot of solar because not only they are creating an electrical connection they're also kind of cementing the component in place because as you can imagine it's the power jack you're going to be pushing in and out the power connector We are left just with the LED. That's complete. The only thing left, obviously, is the chip itself. Just checking how far, how flush the socket is. It's okay. And the chip should again. We should kind of bend the pins inwards. Turn around and there you go. That end went in very nicely. So I am going to put some header pins. Okay, so that's everything on the amplifier done. So I just need to provide some power and I need to connect it to the speaker. So hopefully all of that is visible. Those are nice. So let's just play something. Okay, that seems to be working. Everything worked out. It's pretty straightforward. Nice little amplifier. Um, pretty inexpensive. And uh, took me, what, I don't know how long to do this. You can check later. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you did, please uh, give me a like. If you're finding my videos uh, useful, uh, be sure to subscribe. And thank you until my next video.